guys, this is Sherry from Sher Bear Cottage. How is everybody today? Welcome. Come on in, sit down, and let's do some playing here with some. I'm going to make some notebook. This notebook. I'm sorry, I had to take a drink. I forgot to take a drink before I started. A little notebook very similar to this was uh, shown to me by one of my subscribers. Her name is Jenny, and she lives in Australia. And she showed me this little notebook. Hers was a little bit different, but um, I think I got the right um, concept. So um, she had a little tie around here with some twine or some ribbon, and I just made a slide on. So it says it's a little mushroom notebook. It's got mushroom here in the in the back. So what you do, what it is, is it's one of these. So you can write all on this side. You can turn it around and then write on the other side. Is that not as cute as it can be? Also in here, and I'll make two of them in the next one. I made a little pocket. I can get it out. A little pocket here so you can put a little tag in there with a little topper on it I haven't put the topper on but this was my try and um, I think Jenny I got the idea and um, so I thought I'd show everyone what Jenny contributed and um, and you can peruse me Jenny let me know if I've done it okay so with this one I had two hard pieces well two uh, cardstock pieces and then for the inside I had two pages of coffee dye paper now this measures <clears throat> three by four I think Jenny's was smaller so I'm going to try to do this size smaller sometimes is really hard for me but I am going to try and then I'll put this little guy in here as a tag okay so I've got <clears throat> these two whoops no I'm gonna use this one I've got these two pieces and these are two by three sometimes my hands don't want to work right with little papers so I thought I would make this size is two by three. And if we have time, I'll make the other one. What do you think? Okay. Well, for right now, we're going to cut. I made a mark over there to where we cut. I'm going to try to cut in the same position. And hopefully, I got this measured right. I want it a little bit under three. Right. Okay, that's good. So let's do that again. And this is the long ways. Uh-oh. Well, that's okay. This is the long ways, you know, on the paper. Oh. For some reason, I cannot measure. It's got two ones. I cannot measure three inches on this. And when I open it, then it's four inches. No, yeah, and it's stickers way down here. Let me get a different cutting board. Hold on. Uh-oh. There, came down. i got to fix that. All right. <clears throat> okay. Well, I can measure on this one. My little chomper. Okay. okay. Oh, no, I can't. It's too long. All right. Let's see. Well, I got more. I got more. No worries. <laughs> okay. Here's another one. So, this one, I think, let me measure. See, I don't know where to measure here. I guess I'm just a ding-dong. You guys will have to tell me. How did in the world did I, I always measured by hand. That's what I did on my board or with a ruler. And this measures, okay. Oh, 
Okay, so I cut that off. Doesn't look like I cut very good. <laughs> this is a shorter one, so I only got two out of this paper. I'm using some decorative paper. Here, I just thought it'd be pretty. So let me grab another sheet. I don't want to use pink. Maybe, maybe one of these. Aren't these just the prettiest? I bought these at an Etsy store. What's the name here? Oh yes, it's called Triple B Vintage. Triple B Vintage. And she makes the most beautiful coffee dye paper. And it's nice and thick. I'd say it's a, a 32 pound. Okay, let me cut some more of these. I'm just going to mark them with the good ones here. Trying to make it a little bit less than three because when we fold them, then we have an issue. Yeah, the third strip is uh, less than two and a half, I think. It's about two and a half. I could have just made those a different size and used all the paper, huh? Okay, let's get the cutter back. Here we go. curly the paper is all right there we go now we have to Jenny I don't know how you did it but um this is what I tried to figure out I take the paper and I fold it and I have to be very careful of getting this fold right. First fold makes a difference. And I think I lost my Teflon bone folder. I hope to goodness I did not drop it in my trash can that I have down here beside me. Because I have lost tools in there before. Okay, I'm going to do another one. But I'm going to just do it with my fingers and then put this on here and make sure it's not going over either end. Okay. And again we fold. Trying my darndest to keep it straight. I have trouble with this, fold, this kind of fold. Um, this zigzag fold. I don't know why. But I... Uh, to me, it's difficult to keep to keep a straight uh, motion going and keep it so it's not too big or not too small. Okay, and then this little piece we will glue to another piece. Okay, so I think that'll fit inside this, guys. These guys. <laughs> and it looks like they fit there pretty darn good. Okay, now, you can leave it like that and just have a small one. It'll only be like, you know, that many pages. But I wanted more. So, <laughs> here we go. See, now I'm making it a little bit shorter than the card itself and I think what I'll do 
is I will glue this onto here. Yeah. Should I turn it over? I think I'll turn it over. Okay, I'm going to glue it onto here. I'll just use this tacky glue. We're having a gorgeous day today. I should be out there riding around with my puppy. Yeah, I wish I could walk, um, but um, I have a walker. I'm just afraid to do it, you know, with myself. Okay, here we go. Yeah, try to scooch it over. I'm glad I used that glue so I could move it. Okay, if I have a problem with the width, then I can take care of that, you know, afterwards with a cutter or scissors. Oh my, what is killing me today? <sighs> I tell you guys, don't get old. It's no fun. No. <laughs> I didn't take care of myself when I was young. And um, I was always too busy. Too busy doing nothing. Yeah. Eat well. Eat your veggies. Don't eat fast food. Okay, now, you, now it's Sunday. I'm preaching. <laughs> okay. See, it's wanting to get off kilter here. Causing me a little grief. Maybe for the video, I'll just do two of these strips. But I did do four in the bigger one. Maybe it uh, would call for more because it is bigger, you know. And um, it probably looks better. Okay. So I think that's so cool, you know, how you, you put them on. And then, um, let's see, it's about this long. I think that's good for this size. So I'm going to glue the first page onto the inside cover. Like that. All right. Now you can put whatever you want on here. You could put decorative, other decorative paper on here. This is pretty, you know, plain and generic that I'm doing for uh, the video. But, um, oh, you can really jazz these up. They're so darn cute. And, um, you know, they could, um, you can make pockets in them. In fact, if we make pockets in this, um, I'll need to use more. So I'm going to, I'm going to, even though I glued that on, I'm going to use more here. Okay. I've got the um, brighter decoration on one side and the um, muted decoration on the other but you could use both sides which I think is awesome it's like a book in a book 
so cute, Jenny. Thank you. <laughs> See, I have a little bit over there, but I'm not worried about that. I can snip it off or just leave it be. It's not going to make any difference. Well, it's not going to make that much difference. Now, if you're, um, you know, kind of particular, it might make a difference to you. Okay. I got to get my little puppy a new bed for in this room because he always uh, lays in his bed, you know, under my table by my feet. And, um... His bed is falling apart just all by itself. It was the weirdest thing. And so I looked at it. I thought, well, maybe I could fix it. And I don't think I can fix it. I think it's uh, time for a new one, I guess. I have had pet beds forever before. And see, this is starting to get a little crooked here on me. Um, and they've lasted years and years. This one I've had mm, almost um, like five years, five years, almost five years, five years, I guess, in July, July, August, uh, something like that. And um, okay, now this one, I'm just going to glue that on here. I'm going to make it a little pocket instead of just gluing the whole thing on. I'm just going to do this and make it a pocket. And I'll put some down here on the edge. To make sure I got the right side out. Like that. And put that together. We'll make some other pockets too. Jenny, I don't know if you made pockets on yours or not, but... Um, I thought pockets would be cute in here. See, and then we have a little. Well, that's too big a piece. I got a little piece here. Here. If I could pick it up. I tell you, these nubs of fingers is weird for me. See, you have a little pocket right there. I probably even turn that the other way. Like that. It's cute. Okay. Now, we've got both ends on. Stuck together a little there. Stuck together a little there. Now, what we can do is, you know, count, you know, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let's do three and three. Okay? And what we'll do is we will, oh, we can make the pockets on the back side. Oh. One, two, like on this side. And then you can put something over that, I think. So, a little glue here. And that way the prettier side will be utilized as the pocket. So cute! Let's see, I went to this so I'll do this one. They don't have to be even or anything. I just thought I'd put two in here and here. Don't need much glue to do this. But uh, this little paper um, is pretty strong. So I would suggest if you're doing this, you can use regular copy paper, but if you want it to last longer, I would use a 28 to 32 pound paper. Okay, so we have two pockets here. Let's see if I can find a little something, something, something to put in these little pockets. I'll just use this little white cardstock just to show you 
how they are going to look in here. And then you can put a little topper on it, you know. Um, um, you can use paper. You can use, you know, a little punched out flower. Or, yeah, flower, something like that. It could be on the top. Um, anything. A piece of lace. Yeah. I don't know how many minutes we've used already. Let me look. 20 minutes. Okay, those look real cute in there. But if you have, you know, a piece of lace on those or... Um, let me see if I've got a little piece of lace here. I had them here. Yeah, here. Here they are. Here they are. And I'll we'll use the little ones. Some big ones in there too. Yeah, we can just use a little piece of lace. This this one here would be great. I'll just cut a couple. Hmm. How about I don't know, an inch or a little more, inch and a half. Okay. There we go. So, for the little pocket tab, you know, you can decorate these, of course, any way you want. If you round out the corners of the bottom of a tag, it goes in and out of the pocket so much easier. This is what I mean. You don't have to do it for the top, but you know, if you round out the corners on the bottom, the tag will go in a heck of a lot easier. I might as well just use these since I, I've got them right here. Huh? Okay, there's the tag. And here goes the, whoop, here goes the lace. And I'm just going to put that there and fold it over. Hope you can see this. Okay, good. And put it there. You know what else I could do? Well, I could just glue it or I could staple it. You know, either one. So, and then when it, it sticks out, I don't want to push it down because the glue is not dry. <laughs> So, glue's not even dry on this. Okay, let's do the other one. We'll do the bottom. And then we'll do the tag part. This one's a lot noisier. I'm uh, inking this with tea. What's it called? Tea dye. It's called tea dye. Cute, huh? You can decorate these, put little stencils on it or stamp it or, you know, whatever. I didn't do those little cutoff ends. Okay, now it should fit in there good. It does. Now, where's our other little piece? There it is. And put that right here. Or you can put a little hole in it, too. And then um, put your lace through the hole. It's all up to you. It's all up. Whoops. Wrong direction. All up to you how you want to do it. There we go. Oh, gee. It wants to stick to my fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Stick to my fingers. All right, and here's the other one. Get it in there. Yay, okay. So then we decide, what are we going to tie it up with? Are we going to tie it up with a ribbon? I didn't bring my ribbon out. Are we going to make a little 
belly band like this that slides on and off. You know, that's what you have to decide. And I don't know. I have some sari silk here. But I sure don't need it that wide. Oh, here. This is a good spot to cut it. Right where they have the sewn part. All right. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going <laughs> to. I keep saying that. I'm sorry. I try not to repeat myself all the time. You don't realize you're doing it. Okay. And then, of course, you know, after you've decorated the whole thing, then you just tie a, a little bow. Sorry, Silk always does this. It's got these fibers that are very delicate. And I just ripped it. So... There we go. Or you can put um, one of those policy holder circles. You know what I'm talking about? Oops. See, I could have had that a little longer. Oh, dear. Huh. Well, I definitely could have had that a little longer. I would have to redo that. I wouldn't like it like that. And you know what else? They have this, these things that are so cool. They are um, rub-ons. And um, they... Um, look at this. How cute is this? Anyway, the rub-ons are so fun. Because... They're so easy. You could, you know, put them on here. Let's just put a flower on here. How about that? I think I've got some right here. Oh, mercy. I'm telling you guys, don't get old. Don't do it. Okay, so are you going to tell me I don't have my flowers here? Oh, I'm going to get so mad at me. I'm going to get so mad at me. Okay, they're not here. Are they up here? I put a little... Nope, not there. You guys, you know what I mean, don't you? Let's use one of these little flowers. I'll just cut it out. Gosh, that looks so sweet. Just a little thing, simple little thing like this looks so cute. You could put these in your jean pocket, you know, your backpack, your purse. There's a lot of room to write on here, too. You put it in your car for your mileage. If you have to keep track of your mileage. Look at how cute that looks. Oh my gosh. I am loving that. Uh oh. <coughs> wet. <coughs> Excuse me. I got wet glue here. That's stuck. Oh my goodness. It don't want to come out. I probably pushed it down too. Oh, there it comes. Down too far where I put that glue. You know what I mean, right, guys? Okay, we'll just do this. 
I'm not going to decorate this, I decided. I will just... Um, I'm going to put this little tab on here. This is just a rose tab. Could, no, it'll take up too much of the little card. I'll just put the card back in there. Now, I thought that would be a good place for, um, you know, so cute. And, and, you know, you've got all these pages on this side and a couple pockets. And you turn it over and you got all these pages on this side and a couple pockets. You can write a lot of stuff in there. It's amazing to me how cute, simple, and darling. <laughs> I'll call it darling. Okay, let, let's see how many minutes. That's 30 minutes. Um, I don't know. Do you want me to um, try to make another one? Or should I just call it Say La Vie, We're Done? <laughs> Won't keep you long. 30 minutes. I mean, you know, I had I, this one and then I showed you how this one was. But I've got to get some twine or something. I'm not happy with the way I did that sorry silk. Maybe I could... Um, do it longer. And then I can just cut off the excess. I think it's so darling. Thank you, Jenny. That was so sweet of you to contribute something like this. And, um, you know, I've seen things like this, but I don't remember, you know, really seeing it. And I know I haven't ever done one. So, easy out there, you guys, if you just want a little notebook, you know, to carry along with you. Super simple takes you 30 minutes if you it take you less than that if you're not yakking <laughs> but it's so cute all right guys I'm gonna call it a one and done and um, I hope you have fun um I have a little trouble with little things like this I'm not sure Jenny what size you did. But this one here is a two by three, and this one is a three by four. And they're both just as cute as can be. So have fun with that, guys. And uh, remember, um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Okay, bye-bye.